it's my honor and privilege to bring to you tonight the Portland Plan. To create the plan, people told us what they cared about. So 20,000 people replied to surveys and sent in comments, and more than 5,000 people came to over 300 meetings and community events and told us what they want. They want sidewalks in East Portland. They want their kids to finish high school. They need a job and they want a park nearby. And what we produced in the Portland plan are three integrated strategies uh, built on a foundation of increasing equity and reducing systemic disparities. It centers on business prosperity and affordability, on educated residents who are ready and trained to succeed, and healthy people living in healthy, connected neighborhoods. The 12 measures of success uh, in, uh, bring accountability to the plan by ensuring that we track and evaluate the progress that we're making towards the critical outcomes that we need to be a prosperous, educated, healthy, and equitable city. So that's a quick overview of the Portland plan. And uh, it's been an ambitious effort undertaken in tough times. Uh, but we know that if we're going to succeed, if we're going to tackle uh, these key challenges that the plan laid out for us, we need a plan to guide us. Portland is going to look very different in 25 years, one way or another. We have a choice. Either we leave communities behind and allow poverty, poor health, social and economic disparities to worsen, or we create a city that hundreds of Portlanders said that they want to see. The input that everybody's been talking about, and I brought it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's big and it's real. The important thing is not that there were 20,000 comments, but that staff actually carefully tracked and considered those comments in developing the themes, goals, and strategies of the plan. Through this process, I've really come to understand the disparities that exist in the city. Uh, and while we all you know, agree that those are bad things, I don't think we've all understood that they are, in many cases, the result of choices we've made collectively. And I think we have a duty to start reversing those as quickly as we can. And this plan provides the framework to do that. Um, it's really a plan about how to make life better for the people of Portland, Portland using a state-of-the-art urban design methods while respecting the integrity of our natural environment. Youth are at the center of the plan, and that's really important because that's the future of our city. As a mother raising two young daughters, I thank you for a vision of a city where my girls can grow up and grow old in a healthy, active, and fair Portland. Just the idea of being able to align our activities collectively on any number of these goals, we know what a tremendous impact uh, that can have. We thank the city for truly making this a planning process that is collaborative. I'm also impressed that the Portland Plan effort has brought together so many diverse partners and that its net effect is that we've all included implementation of the plan as central parts of our own missions and how we will do our own work. So I think we've multiplied the impact that all of us, all of our institutions have individually by the fact that we're now woven together and part of the plan and how we do our individual work. The Portland Plan before you is not an end but rather a step in a process that will continue to evolve over time. This plan will really only succeed, not just with the 20 partners, but with our business partners, with neighborhoods, with, with students, with residents, with everyone in the community. This is a uh, plan that's been shaped by the community. And I think the process that the Bureau and the city has used has been outstanding. But ultimately, for this to have uh, credibility, and for this to have legs, it has to have community participation and buy-in. And I think it's one of the core, one of the cornerstones of this plan. We have the plan for the next 35 years, and that's going to serve us well and allow us to move forward. So thank you all for all your work. Uh, we should all uh, tip our hat to Sam for producing really what is a legacy piece of work. And I don't think it would have been done in the time frame were it not for the drive Sam brought to it and the focus and the constant bringing everybody together. Indeed, I'm particularly grateful to all of the members of the equity tag. Um, it's evidence that we this is not a plan which now we need to start putting into action. We have already started implementing this plan. I think what we have here is, is absolutely something that every a uh, new member of council can put their heart and soul into and build on and polish and improve um, every single year. Aye. Yeah!